What's up guys today's video is on the top 3 best vlogging cameras in 2024. Through extensive research and testing I've put together a list of options that'll meet the needs of different types of buyers so whether it's price performance or its particular use we've got you covered. For more information on the products I've included links in the description box down below which are updated for the best prices. Now let's get started. Number 3 GoPro Hero 12 Black the Hero 12 Black focuses on what matters most, boasting incredible video performance, outstanding dynamic range, and superior stabilization. Not a lot has changed with the design of GoPro's camera. In fact, the Hero 12 Black sports the same overall dimensions, weight, dual displays, and rugged constriction as the Hero 11 Black, plus the same water resistance rating of 33 feet recycled designs aren't new but at least the Hero 12 Black proved to be solidly built, as it held up after being knocked around in my backpack. With its soft-touch casing, I do like how the camera repels debris and smudges to stay clean-looking. GoPro instead gives the Hero 12 Black more utility. There's no denying that its action cameras were targeted to enthusiasts, but now it's now reaching a broader audience thanks to some new features. With its 8.7 image sensor, the GoPro Hero 12 Black makes a point of capturing better vertical videos for social media. Rather than mounting the action camera so that it's positioned vertically, there's a mode to change the aspect ratio so that it captures vertical video regardless of its orientation. When it comes to video quality, the GoPro Hero 12 Black doesn't disappoint with its excellent dynamic range performance, good details, and steady look, the hallmark qualities I want to find in any action camera. The Hero 12 simplifies the options and provides all the relevant details for newbies to understand. From choosing the resolution and frame rate to options for framing, I find the software in the Hero 12 Black incredibly intuitive. It packs the 1720 mAh battery. With 1720 mAh battery the Hero 12 Black can effectively record up to 70 minutes shooting in 5.3K 60 frames per second. Number 2 Sony A6700 The A6700 is a well-rounded camera that's as well-suited for portraiture and landscape photography as it is for travel vlogging and filmmaking. Image quality, video capability, and autofocus are all top-notch, better than or on par with the best. The ergonomics and menus are well thought out and there's no shortage of lenses to choose from. Whether starting out, moving to mirrorless, or upgrading, the A6700 is a solid choice. The A6700's design feels well thought out. Its slightly oversized grip improves handling with bigger lenses and doesn't feel like overkill for smaller ones. Sony puts the on-off switch at the top, in a collar around the shutter release. The front command dial, a new addition, is a little bit too close to the indented middle finger rest, aside from that. The grip is comfortable and feels secure thanks to its textured leatherette finish. The A6700 uses the FP of the Z100 battery, which Sony introduced to the series with the A6600 and uses for its pro cameras. I don't have a SEPA rating for the camera, a representative from Sony did not respond to that inquiry as of this writing, but I never had to worry about running out of battery during short photo outings with the camera during my review period. The Z battery is among the best performing in mirrorless, and I expect it is good enough for all-day sessions. The A6700's 26MP BS ICMOS sensor provides image quality that's right in line with others in the class. The camera supports for image formats, JPG, HEIF, Compressed RAW, and Lossless Compressed RAW. The Sony A6700 mirrorless camera handles likes its predecessors thanks to its small body and corner-mounted EVF, but a new sensor, an AI-assisted focus system and better video features are all compelling reasons to upgrade. Number 1 Sony ZV-V1 Sony's full-frame ZV-V1 camera delivers fantastic results for videos and vlogs thanks to a stabilized sensor, a cinetone color, and a number of AI-powered features to assist creators operating without the benefit of a crew. The ZV-E1 adds sensor-based in-body image stabilization, IBIS, so you can skip using a gimbal in many cases, and its full-frame sensor is capable of a shallower depth of field when compared with the APS-C ZV-E10. Its frame makes the ZV-E1 the smallest stabilized full-frame camera out there. 
we can point to the sigma FP and FPL as the reasons for the stabilization caveat. The ZV E1 body style is handheld, so its control scheme follows. The shutter release is atop the hand grip, with the record button just behind it. Sony includes a zoom rocker around the shutter to set the focal length of power zoom lenses and squeezes the power switch in just to its right. The background defocus, C1, button and a control dial round out the top plate controls. The ZV E1's buttons and dials are just one aspect of the control scheme. The 3 inch monitor is just as important. Sony uses its colorful touch enabled menu system and leans into virtual touch boxes for quick access to some of its more useful video features. Sony is joining the chorus of brands adding some type of artificial intelligence to its product line. The ZV E1 is powered by the long lasting NPUF Z100 battery pack, good for around 570 photos or 95 minutes of video recording. The ZV E1 is built around an image sensor that's made specifically for video. Overall, Sony ZV E1 camera delivers fantastic results for videos and vlogging. Thanks for watching. Subscribe.